we want to simplify the given trig expression to a product of trig functions. Looking at the expression, notice how we could perform a substitution for tangent squared x. Looking at this identity, if we subtracted one on both sides, we'd have tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta minus one. So we could replace tangent squared x with secant squared x minus one, but that really won't simplify anything. So let's convert to sines and cosines. So the numerator is going to stay cosine x minus sine x. And now the denominator, we'll write tangent x as sine x over cosine x. Minus tangent squared x is equal to sine squared x over cosine squared x. Now we have a complex fraction because we have a fraction that contains fractions in the denominator. One way to simplify a complex fraction is to multiply the top and bottom by the least common denominator of all of the fractions. This eliminates the fractions from the top and the bottom. So looking at the bottom here, notice how the least common denominator would be cosine squared x, and therefore for the next step, let's multiply the top and bottom by cosine squared x. Notice when we multiply the top and bottom of a fraction by the same thing, we get an equivalent fraction. Multiplying on the top, let's leave the top as a product, so we'll have cosine squared x times cosine x minus sine x. Now multiplying on the bottom, cosine squared x times sine x over cosine x will simplify because cosine x over cosine x equals one so the product would be sine x cosine x. And we have minus sine squared x over cosine squared x times cosine squared x simplifies nicely to just sine squared x. Now let's go ahead and factor the denominator. These two terms contain a common factor of sine x. So we have sine x times the quantity cosine x minus sine x. Notice how we have a common factor of cosine x minus sine x in the numerator and denominator. So this quotient simplifies to one, and we're left with cosine squared x divided by sine x. So we have simplified the expression, or we're asked to write the expression as a product of trig functions, so let's write cosine squared x over sine x as cosine x times cosine x over sine x. And cosine x over sine x is equal to cotangent x, and therefore we can write this as cosine x times cotangent x. And now we have the expression simplified to a product of trig functions. Notice how we're asked to write the functions in alphabetical order and with a multiplication sign. And because S comes before T, these functions are in alphabetical order and we do have the multiplication sign. So this is the simplified expression we want for the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.